that you guys are watching Cityscape on City TV. All right, today we're talking about single mothers dating, single mothers being in love with their friends. Okay, do you think she should sort of take a step back, watch him, try and introduce little romantic suggestions or be like, oh, let's go to the movies together or just you and I, no kids today. Or should she just come up and be upfront and say, look, you're my friend, but this is what I'm feeling. So what's your take on this? And stand maybe losing that person as a friend, period. So now, if this man is also someone who's searching for love and you start, uh, you know, putting on the, the heat, <laughs> going out for dates with him that are a little more romantic than just a quick movie and a quick bite during the day now you're moving into long night dinners getting, getting all dressed up yes. now if he's also someone who's looking for love you know then chances are you might end up falling head deep you know without realizing it and doing that too fast i think when you have kids you can't gamble there's nothing like okay let's do some some romantic dinners if i don't like you bye bye you can't gamble. So I think she needs to be upfront. Yes. 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 Yes.
in love with that's my friend and I know he's friends with say Alex so I go to Alex and I'm like you know what this is the lowdown this is how I feel about him and I want you to sort of be the middleman and see like pro poke and prod and see if he feels the same way about me do you think that's necessary at all or is the wrong way to go about it? I think it's um, it's a safe way mm -hmm. especially if you're too scared to broach the subject yourself um, or you feel you know sometimes you have a, an upfront conversation with somebody and by the end by the time you're done you're more in love than you were before you know if you feel like you're that type of person and there's somebody trustworthy not somebody who's going to stand by national theater and be shouting into it not somebody who is going to go back to the guy and say eh, okay this is what she said but remember she has kids mm -hmm. you know that sort of thing and, and trying to discourage him yes. it's so it's a, it's a case by case uh, you know on a case by case basis and right. i do right. think that if you're going to do something like that you need to be almost you can't be 100 percent sure but about 95 percent sure that this person who you're involving in your, in your feelings in your life at that moment is somebody who's trustworthy so ultimately, <laughs> it's okay for her to be in love. It's it okay because sometimes you may fall, she may realize that she's, it's not so much so that she's in love with her best friend. She thinks she's in love with her friend or her best friend because he's there. It's as simple as that. Sometimes as a human being, you just need somebody. You want that sort of just human grown up interaction, okay. affection. It's not a bad thing. So it's important to just take your time, suss out the situation, and see if you're both on the same boat. And if he's close to your boat, it's just okay. like, you know. Get in. Scoot in. <laughs> Scoot in. But yes, um, young lady, if you're listening, um, kudos to you for raising two kids, Absolutely. seven and ten. I don't know exactly what happened between you and their father or their fathers, but whatever be the case, don't let that hold you back. Um, you are a beautiful woman. I've seen her pictures. Beautiful woman. Um, you have the strength to do anything you want to do. Just be mm -hmm. careful and stay guided and all that. And if you're a prayerful person, pray. It helps. You get an answer. All right, guys. And with that, we've come to the end of this very topic. My two cents. You are entitled to feel however you want to feel. But I think it's important to sit down, reflect. If you need to write it down, write it down. Reflect on your feelings and make sure that your feelings are true. You actually feel this for this person. Sometimes it may simply be because that person is there. You get that love, that affection, that attention, and automatically you think you're in love with somebody or you're looking for a father or a mother for your children. It's key to take your time. Look for the safest way to go about it. You can talk to him, talk to his friends, if his friends are your friends and they have your best interests at heart. But ultimately, you're strong and beautiful, like my co-host said. So you should go for it, I would say. Go for it. Don't do it in a funny way, but go for it. All right? We'll see you guys next time.